Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at uh, Finale Script. I'll be doing a tutorial, more of like a run through, a quick introduction into the Finale Script command and what Finale Script is. So if you're wondering what Finale Script is, is it's, it's a macro uh, function, it's a macro programming tool in Finale. Is if you've ever used um, Microsoft Word before, which I'm sure a lot of you have, uh, it's basically it's basically a macro tool, uh, so you can uh, you know use use it to reduce repetitive tasks on on your workflow. So what a macro is, if you don't know what a macro is, is basically if you have a task that you're you're using on a program that involves a lot of button pushing, a lot of monotonous repetition that you wish you could just you know condense down into you know a couple button presses instead. Um, that's basically what a macro does. You can program it to do a specific task and make uh, it really help speed up tasks. And Finale Script is the equivalent of uh, the macro function in Microsoft Word. So where I'm at right now, this is actually on Finale's website, on finalemusic.com. This is the list of all the Finale uh, functions, at least all the simple ones that you can do. And this is a very useful thing to either tag onto your book, you know, bookmark it onto your browser. I, at least I have it on mine. And you can extend these down. It kind of shows you what you do, parameters, examples. Uh, this is great because, I mean, if you don't have this, I'm, I'm always checking this to, you know, see what I can do and what, what's allowed and whatnot. So if you want to copy the URL down, uh, there it is right there. I'll leave it in the description as well. So let's get into it. So I'll be using Finale version 25. And uh, well, here, where do you find the uh, Finale script? You go into plugins, you go to Finale script, uh, Finale script palette. You see there's the uh, Control Shift Alt R. That is the shortcut. So let's open this up. So right off the bat, uh, just a couple of criticisms. First of all, look at this. This looks so dated. Um, I mean, this looks like something from 10 years ago. And another criticism is Finale has all these buttons and you highlight over them and it tells you what it is. Like this is the expression tool. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the page layout tool. Oh, what's this do? It's a zoom tool. Here's the eraser. It even tells you. Wonderful, wonderful feature. Subtle, but very useful. Here, look, I highlight over one of them. Like, what does this do? I have no idea. It doesn't tell you. What does this do? Oh, it's grayed out. What about this? What does this do? Okay, that's, that was from last time. About this, this question mark. I mean, it takes you to. Okay, well, it takes you to the Finale Script pl plugin. Okay, well, I'll click on that and it'll take you here. That's cool. Maybe that's another way of getting there. Didn't know that personally. Anyway. Okay, so how do we use this? So you'd want to press this blank page with a little plusy thingy right there. Go ahead, press that. That's actually that means new. It'll open up something that says Untitled Scripts. Double click that. It'll pull up this new window, and this is where you type in your commands. So for a very simple example, let's type in uh, copy. I know that's a, that's a command. So what this will do is this will actually execute, uh, this will copy something. Now I do know there's already a shortcut for, for copy. That's usually standard, you know, control copy. We're gonna change this. First of all, uh, go ahead and rename this to copy. This is just to remind you what, what function this is. And you wanna click on uh, use shortcut. Click and then you can assign a shortcut. You can click on find one, exclamation point, if you want to. There you go, Alt-1, you can just keep clicking this until you find something you'll like, I guess. Or you can just uh, go ahead and execute one. You have to usually use either Control, Alt, both, Control, Shift, or some combination of those. It can't just be any key, uh, unfortunately. So instead of a command, instead of Control copy, let's do Alt copy. There we go. Click OK, and show in the menu, That's it'll show up in here. If you don't check this, it won't show up in here. I'm just going to click on that. And then you can run the script. If it's a more complicated script, you can uh, run it just to double check that it's all correct and running properly. Let's go ahead and close it, and you'll see it shows up in our uh, batch processes. Well, OK, our batch folders, that's not important. So let's see how, how it works. So let's go ahead and X out of it. You don't need this open. So Notice that I can paste. I had something already copied in my clipboard already. So let's go ahead and copy something different. So I'm gonna do the command. You're gonna you're just gonna have to believe me on this. Let's do alt copy. 
Okay, you see it pulls up the palette, which is very, very annoying. I don't know why they just close that by default. And it gives you a little check mark plus, which blinks at you and tells you that, hey, you just executed a command. Like, who, who, like why is that? No, just go away. I don't need to know that. All right, anyway, so we copied that. And then let's go ahead and, uh, whoops, what did we do there? Let's go ahead and paste it. Control, actually, let's just prove to you that I'm actually pasting it. Paste. And there we go. You see it's the same. Okay, whatever I did. So that's basically the nuts and bolts of how you do it. There's more uh, advanced commands, actually some very useful preset commands. If you go into simple scripts, some of the ones I find very useful, for instance, swap layers one and two, what a beautiful function this is. Um, very simple, this, this is actually the script you do. It'll execute swap layers one and two, respace, update layout, very simple. Yet this syntax is just so awkward. This is no kind of typical programming language syntax. So if you're like a if you're a computer uh, programmer or like to code and stuff, yeah, this won't become very intuitive. So uh, yeah, I think they should fix that. Like I don't know, just use like a C plus plus syntax or something. I don't know, something that everyone can use. So let's go ahead and, and, and execute this command. So let's um, let's use this measure. We got two different layers, and what, ha what happens when I run the script? Bam! You got these two layers switched around for you. All right. So that's basically how that works, and you can get into more advanced commands. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save and close that. I guess this play button plays it. I mean, oh, it does the entire document. Uh, okay. Okay, so that just switches it around. Okay, it's still, I mean, this program is still kind of it's kind of buggy. Uh, don't show palette when calling uh, scripts. Okay, go ahead and click that, because I don't like it when it keeps on popping up. It's really annoying. I'm giving it a check mark. Okay, just, just, just disable this. I don't need to know this. Completed, who cares? I don't care, like, who, no. I don't think that's important. Luckily, what's nice is you can actually undo using, you know, just regular control Z to undo any command, you know, redo it by uh, pressing control Y. So that's actually a pretty nice feature right there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much a good solid introduction. If you want to learn more, definitely go to uh, this URL link. This is the, uh, the dictionary, I guess, of finale scripts. And yeah, you just pull down you know, menus and I mean, I use this don't know too much about it but you can definitely use it just to you know sim simplify some things and you know you know program some certain uh certain keys to do you know just very simple stuff things that you would just love to do otherwise so that'd take you forever to do so um that's going to be it for this video uh if you like this video go ahead and give a thumbs up on it if you want to see more you can definitely subscribe to my channel i try to keep up with uh, people's demands uh, and try to make finale as much fun and as easy as possible. So, with that, if you want to, if you have a request of something, go ahead and uh, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see what I can do with it. But for now, I'm gonna say bye for now, and um, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.